Hello everybody, today on Rob's Repair, I'm gonna be restoring this old vise I found at a garage sale. It's an Ethel model number 714. That's a little beat up. There's a couple little dings on the jaws and you know, this thing's been used. One thing unique about this vise is the handle is only on one side. And what it would do is they call it a ratcheting vise. You would take the handle and you would tighten it down and then you could pull this out and adjust the handle without moving the jaws. So if you tighten it down and the handle was up like this, it's kind of in the way, you could pull it out, move it down and then lock it back in. But I think that mechanism has been modified so it doesn't work or something. So we're going to take this thing apart and see what we can do to clean it up and make it work uh, the way it came out of the factory. All right, so let's strip this thing down and see what's wrong with it and get all get everything apart so we can start wire wheeling it and cleaning things up. I don't know if that's where it's supposed to be, but... We'll keep taking her apart and see what we come up with. There it is. See, it's just like a big screwdriver slot. Pretty good sized bolt. There's the base, no cracks, nothing. There she goes, goes flying. Well, that's all it was, it's just like a little dowel pin. Just like that, thing just slides out. Look at all that old crusty grease and grime. Yeah, that's all it is. And there's a little clip. Oh, I can just pull it out with my hands. It's just this little clip that kind of goes into a slot on that shaft and holds it where it needs to be. And it should slide out. There we are. Threads look awesome. Everything looks really good. So after a little further investigation on how this actually works, uh, when I took it apart, I found this spring in here, which is not supposed to be in there. That spring is supposed to be in here, and it's supposed to have what looked like a round uh, washer style uh, bolt head. It was just really wide and it had a slot for a screwdriver. Uh, what was on it when I found it was just this washer and this bolt, and it just held everything together tight. But that's not what we want. We want to get it back to the way it was. So we're going to try to make a bolt with a washer that holds this spring in here. And then that spring, when you pull out on it, it'll disengage. Um, let's see what we can come up with. I have a couple ideas. So here's what I got. I got a... Uh, screw that'll fit in that the threads of that end of that uh, meatball they call it and I found this washer it's a little big I'm gonna put it just like that and weld it and I think this will work and then we'll polish it up polish up the weld grind it down to where it needs to be and put a screwdriver slot in it So 
So here's what we what we're at so far. I got it. The head polished down pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna hit it with a polishing buffing wheel once I cut the slot, the screwdriver slot in it. So I kind of got it roughly marked out. I think I'm just gonna hit it with this real quick to kind of get a rough uh, a rough line, and then maybe I'll use like a hacksaw blade. But we'll see how this goes. So here's that custom screw I made. I just put it in, I put the spring in behind it, and I'll show you how this thing works. See right now it's locked in. So you tighten your vise down and your handle's kind of in the way, so you pull out and you can adjust the handle. And you let go and it engages, that spring kind of engages it. All right, so I got a wire wheeled up pretty good. It's got a couple dings and dents and scratches uh, on this backside. Somebody was basically using that as an anvil, but I'm not worried about this back here. This up front, I might try to grind this a little bit smoother. Maybe try to weld in that little chunk that's missing. Uh, just try to make it look a little better. And... grind this smooth. Next we'll hit it with a flap disc. So this handle, <clears throat> it looks like the person I had it before kind of welded around that handle right there. Um, they probably welded it for a reason. I know this uh, originally is supposed to just screw into there, so maybe they had a problem with it coming loose. So therefore they put some weld or braze or something around that. Um, I'm probably going to leave that. I'll just clean it up a little bit, make it look nice, uh, and then we'll clean up the rest of this.
This is a swivel base vise, which means you can swivel and lock it down. But when I found it, it was locked down tight with this. You know, it was, it was made, um, it was made to be a swivel vise, but they had it modified. I don't know if maybe they broke it off, but they just put this bolt in there. So it was stationary. What I'd like to do is try to make uh, the mechanism that made it swivel and We'll see how I can do that. I don't have a lathe or an end mill to be able to do something crazy like that, but I have a lot of hand tools and grinders and uh, I might be a little rough, but I wanna be able to make something where I can swivel this and then lock it down. So after uh, finding a patent online for this vise, uh, the mechanism that locks the base to the actual vise was pretty unique. I'm gonna try to copy it best I can. Uh, what I got is a piece of, I think it's like half inch, maybe it's three eighths flat stock. I'll use a chunk of that to go in here. And then I got a couple volts, bolts here and I'm gonna try to fabricate something that looks similar to uh, what it, how it came from the factory. I'll try to find that picture uh, printed off of the patent so I can show you guys what it looked like, but We'll see what we can come up with here. So I printed off a picture of the patent, but I also found this picture, which really shows everything nicely. So I figured I'd show this to you guys. This lever is the one I'm gonna try to make. Um, we're gonna see what we can do there. This is a model 710, ours is a 714, but it's got all the same features. I'm doing here is just trying to get my angle right and we'll taper the edges and it should work so here's what I got so far I can kind of I can grind a little bit more make it fit a little snug but it's gonna be able to slide right like that I'll take a little more material off and We'll try to get some teeth on here so they can mate with the teeth. I don't know if you can kind of see them in there. So when this clamps down, it'll clamp right in. It'll kind of mesh. That's what we got so far. There we go, I think that's gonna be good enough. Well, I believe that is gonna work. Cool.
So here's kind of what we got going on. I cut the head off this bolt and I beveled this out a little bit and I'm gonna weld that in there kind of flush. Uh, I beveled it so I get some weld in that gap and then uh, we'll grind it all smooth and this will be the part that goes inside the base. I think that's going to work. It's not very straight, but we're going to make her work. Beautiful. So the threads on the end of the spool, I kind of smoothed off and then hit with the wire wheel. So it's kind of almost like a gnarled grip, which I'm happy with that. And this piece we'll put together using a brass rivet. I'll put that through and I'll pound in and peen out the other end of it, which I think will work pretty good. tight loosen it up turn it where you want it you want it over here crank her down she don't move so i got everything disassembled and we're gonna degrease it and get ready for paint so i'm just gonna wipe everything down with a little brake clean uh, blue rag So I got one coat on, I think it looks really good. I'll probably do two or three coats. Uh, it's like a textured metallic, it says. That's what it's supposed to kind of look like, duplicolor. 
decent stuff. Hopefully it works out. It looks good. So we'll get the other pieces cleaned up and we'll get ready to put this thing together. Doesn't look too bad. Using up close view of that screw I made for the end there on the meatball. Turned out really nice. I just buffed it quick. That will work. Kind of glob that up a little bit. Slide that in. So put a stainless steel washer. We'll put a little lube on that. We'll slide that in. Just a thin coat. Then we'll put our spring in, we'll put our washer, and then the little bolt I made. Well, it's done. I'm happy with it. Paint turned out great. Everything works awesome. This lever turned out good. It's locked in right now. Unlock it. Swivel device wherever you want it. Lock it back in. Got this mechanism working. So you can tighten down the vise. Say you tighten something in there and your handle's sticking up like this. You pull out, drop it down out of the way and it locks back in. Really pleased with how this thing turned out, and this is going to be a good addition to my shop. I'm going to be using this thing probably pretty regularly. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know my camera footage was a little rough sometimes. I'm still working on a tripod setup for my camera, but we'll see you next time.